I recently had somebody reach out and they were mentioning that when they were using their R's, their indexers were running into a problem, running into DDoS protection, and they were unable to proceed. And I realize that this may not be public knowledge, but you need some kind of proxy server to go ahead and complete those requests so that you can go ahead and bypass those DDoS protections uh, in a way that's not gonna crash the company's website that you're using, but also isn't going to completely bog down your machine either. So today I'm gonna show you how to install Flare Solver, which is a way to get around those for your Rs. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about things like Cloudflare's turnstile, and I'm sure you've probably seen it on a website or two. And these can cause your Rs to run into problems because it can no longer properly access that indexer or the files on it. So Flare Solver is a really easy way to fix that and to kind of bypass that whole DDoS problem. And I'm gonna show you how to do this on Unraid, but this also works kind of no matter what system you're using. So if you're using Synology, if you're doing something on TrueNAS, what have you, once we get past the installation of Flare Solver, the rest of the instructions are going to be the exact same no matter what kind of platform you're on. But we are gonna be showing how to do this on Unraid. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go into the community apps, Search for Flare Solver. Now there's a couple versions here. There's the official one, which is great. I have Binhex's Flare Solver installed. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go to install. And it is a very basic template to use. There's not much that you have to do here. The main thing that you wanna do is just make sure that the port is not a port that's currently used. Easiest way to do that is to expand the Docker allocations, grab the port that it wants to use, use Control F, search for it, and because I already do have Flare Solver set up, it is using that port, but we don't see any other ones, so we're good to go. We can go ahead and use that port. Then as always, you would go down and hit apply and let it install. Now, unlike a lot of the other applications, there's no real web UI for Flare Solver, so we don't have to do anything really to manage that here. The main thing I would do is just, if you have all of your R set to auto start, also have Flare Solver set to auto start as well. Now, the next thing we're gonna, we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna jump into Prowlr and we're gonna be adding it into Prowlr as the settings so that it applies to all of our indexers. If you're not using Prowlr, you can do the same thing that I'm gonna do into Sonar or Radar or what have you, whichever R that you're using, if you're doing all of your indexers manually, but I'm using Prowlr to consolidate all of my indexers into one so that I don't have to set them up every single time I set up an R. So here we are in my Prowlr, and then we're gonna go into settings, we're gonna to go to indexers and you're gonna to wanna to add an indexer proxy. Now, as mentioned, I already have this set up, so we have it here, but I'm gonna set up a new one just to show you how it works. We're gonna go ahead and you're gonna hit Flare Solver. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is do a tag. So I have this one tagged as Cloudflare. You can tag it as really whatever you want. You can tag it as DDoS, you can tag it as Flare Solver. So we can do Flare Solver um, and we can do that. Now you're gonna to wanna to put your host in. So that is going to be the IP address of Flare Solver. So really easy way is just to grab that. If you're on Unraid, you can just grab that from here, go back in here and we can paste that there and we're good to go. And then if you don't see this request timeout, it's just the advanced option. So you can just hit the little cogwheel here on the bottom. 60 seconds is the default and I think 60 seconds is good. I, you can do all the way down to like one second. You can do all the way up to 180 seconds, I believe. Just keep in mind that the more requests that you're hitting Flare Solver with, the more basically browser tabs it's gonna be opening. And that's really gonna bog down your system, especially if your system doesn't have a lot of RAM. So 60 seconds, I think is a good spot for it. It's a good default. Um, if you do have more, do keep that in mind that it is gonna um, kind of slow down the system if you have it at a shorter request timeout um, or a longer one, sorry, if it's just gonna keep on going over and over and over and over again. So do keep that in mind. It's not gonna add here if I save it because I already have it added. But if we open up this one and we test it, we get our green check mark. That means we're good to go and we can go ahead and save it. Now the important part is we go back into our indexers, and if you already have an indexer that you need to add it to, you can do it here, or you can add one that you need to add it to. So for example, I know that 1337X requires Flare Solver, and a lot of them in their little templates will tell you that you need to add it. So we'll go to add indexer, we'll go to 1337, even though we already have it added, and as we scroll down here, we will see that there is a Flare Solver info. This site may use Cloudflare DDoS protection, therefore it requires Flare Solver to access it. So what you wanna do in this case, and this is makes it super easy, is all we have to do is add that tag, 
that we had. So it's gonna pop up here. We have our Cloudflare tag, done. So now anytime this indexer is being used, Prowler knows that it has to use that proxy uh, of using the uh, Flare Solver before with this indexer in order to access it properly. And you can do this with as many as you'd like, as many as you need to, most of them, you will have the Flare Solver info there. Now there's no master list of which ones you're gonna need. So let me just click on another one and see. So another example, 52BT here also has a Flare Solver one. So just whenever you're setting up an indexer and you do see this, all you have to do is just add whatever tag you had set up and it's gonna know that it has to use Flare Solver with this indexer. Very, very easy to do. So the main thing you wanna do is that when you do go ahead and add your indexer and you end up adding your Cloudflare tag, if you don't add the tag, so let's take this one out real quick and we test, we're gonna get a red exclamation mark saying that it's not working because it can't go and bypass the Cloudflare. So if we go ahead and put that one back on and then we test it, we should get our green check mark, which means that we're good to go. So we got our green check mark. We can save that one. And then in our indexer list, we can see that it has the check mark. So we're knowing it's good, it's set up and we're good to go. Overall, super easy process. This should help you if you're running into any of these issues with your indexers. I really do love Prowlar. It makes a lot of the stuff a lot easier because as I mentioned, I don't have to do it with a whole bunch of things, but Flare Solver really does just kind of simplify that process. I don't use those indexers very much. They're very low priority indexers anyways, but it's great to use as like a backup of a backup just in case I do need to use them and it allows me to access them without having issues. And with all that said, I really do hope this video helped you out or at least you found it interesting. If you did, really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave those down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get to them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors and big thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you wanna see any other videos relating to stuff that I'm doing on my server, whether it's the R's, uh, programs related to the R's, other, other kind of stuff, a lot of it's gonna be doing with Unraid. You can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.